The investigation continues tonight into the capital city's 12th homicide of the year. New tonight, police have just identified the victim as 31-year-old Corey Vargas. As we first told you last night at 5, police say a man was dropped off at a fire station yesterday on Atwells Avenue. He was rushed to Rhode Island Hospital where he later died. 12 News reporter Brandon Truitt is live in Providence with the latest on this investigation and whether mother who lost her daughter to violence is now asking city leaders to do. Hi, Brandon. Hey guys, good evening. So as police continue to investigate yesterday's stabbing, there is a group gathering tonight to call for change on this topic. This recent violence throughout the capital city is coming uh, up to, again for those who are all too familiar with it. Now some of them are speaking out and taking action. It's devastating. Diana Garlington knows a pain no one wants to feel. It was a, a very painful experience. It still is. Diana lost her daughter, Essence, to gun violence in November of 2011. She was caught in a deadly crossfire on Broad Street and left a son behind. The case is still unsolved. We're going to experience this violence for the rest of our life because, you know, it never goes away. Tonight, there's an event at the Southside Cultural Center in Providence. Multiple community groups coming together to bring awareness to these unsolved cases and to deadly violence that creates them. That violence felt as recently as Thursday afternoon. Police continuing to investigate a deadly stabbing on Swiss Street. Investigators telling us 31-year-old Corey Vargas was stabbed, driven to this nearby fire station, and taken to the hospital where he later died. At a time when there's a debate over funding of police departments, Diana offering her own take on what could help. In order to fight the gun violence, as I said, we need to um, have some of our officials to step up and maybe place more police officers um, on the force. So again, that event is starting in about 30 minutes just down the road here on Broad Street. In the meantime, that stabbing from yesterday is still be, being investigated. As of this hour, no arrests have been made. Live in Providence, Brandon Truett, 12 News.